Uh, I taught my sister how to drive, and she has been driving for years. You don't just listen. No, you don't know how to communicate. I told you to press brake, you pressed accelerator. How am I supposed to know which one is brake between the two? During Ever After is brought to you by Tal Rice. Fine girl, no dimple. I love your smile, I love your peep. Oh yeah, come inside, no vex. Leave me alone, I'm walking home. What? <sighs> okay. It's true, Sha. That would be a safer option than um, driving. Just because you are a bad teacher does not mean I don't know how to drive. Ah! Bad driver, me! Me, bad driver! I, I taught my sister how to drive, oh, and she has been driving for years. Even Goke. Goke, that has one leg. I taught him how to drive. You don't just listen. No, you don't know how to communicate. Ah! I told you to press brake. You pressed accelerator. How am I supposed to know which one is brake between the two? You could not say, I press the right one. No, like if I send you to the store to go and buy me something, do I say, oh, buy me Maxi or Ultra? Or do I not just say, buy me pink or blue or, or, or some other color? Grace! Grace! Ah! Grace! <laughs> They go away, away, you still they come. What kind of love is this? What kind of love is this? I come, they run. You they call me as I they run away, away. Billy, bring your leg. Oh, this is, if you didn't want to teach me how to drive, you should have just said so. Babe, see, I don't want to teach you how to drive. Uh, I don't mean that. Of course I do. No, you don't. My very loving husband who has promised to do anything to make me happy. Trust me, this is for your happiness. Oh. I know what I'm saying. See, yeah, I would enroll you in the driving school. It's not about the driving school. I will pay. It's not about that. It's about... The experience, it's about us hanging out, it's about the bonding. So, this is James Bond. How is the bonding going now? Why do you always look for every opportunity to tell me I told you so? Why? Because you don't always listen the first time, me. Huh? It's in the constitution. Everybody knows that husbands don't teach their wives how to drive, except my own wife. Eh? Ah, you always want to have things your way. That's why you just vex and come down from the car. Wait, right? how is me wanting you to teach me how to drive? Me always wanting to have my way. I'm eh? way now. I mean, I don't have time for this. I have a meeting to prepare for. It's not as if you will now uh, lay in the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> so I have somewhere to go. I want to have my bath too. <sighs> she told you to turn off the water heater. Why? Mm. Turn it back on now. The plan was that I will have my bath when we get back. So I can go for my meeting. You told it on since last night. Eh? Uh -huh. Sorry, oh. Sorry that I didn't want us to pack all our life savings and give it to Nepa. You are very insensitive. Then you are selfish. You are wasting. Don't me. insult me, Shetan. Oh, you are insensitive is what? A statement of fact. Okay, you want statement of fact. You should have told me now. That's the game we are playing. Statement of fact one. Statement of fact two. Statement of fact three. And I'm sure there are like 44 other statement of facts in this room. Ear wax. Ear wax everywhere in my room. Do you want to wax an album? Eh? Or you don't know where the trash can is? Oh, at least I know where the laundry basket is because you have the whole clothes everywhere. Like Jerusalem on, 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 on Palm Sunday. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Listen to that coming at me. No, you don't have a comeback. No, I, <laughs> I have to give a speech for this. I have to give a speech for this. I want to say a very big thank you to my mommy and my daddy. 
I also want to thank the Lord. I never imagined that I will be able to rent that Captain Shator Road. Madam, place. your mic is off. I never expected it. Off your too. mic! <laughs> That's what I need to pray today. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, let's pray. <sighs> pray for us. Yeah, I'm going to stop you pray. I'm the head of this family and I'm instructing you to pray. You're the spiritual head of your home. You should cover your family in prayers. You know what, I can't do this, man. Are you um, using the bathroom? You know what, I'll just use the guest room. <sighs> Because I don't understand what is there in prayer that it has to be back and forth. I can't find this document. Where did she keep it? She said it was here now. So, oh, yeah, this document. Oh, she's going to kill me. Hey. Hey. Hmm. How are you? Good morning, Ma. Uh -huh. Just need to forward this. What happened? Oh, I can't find the documents for the Fruity Life meeting. What do you mean you can't find the documents for the Fruity Life meeting? I searched everywhere. I, I kept them here. I watched them overnight. They're not here. They're not here, Mom. I, I they're searched. not among this. No, they're not. I've been, I've been trying to look for them. I can't, I can't find them. They're not here. They're not here. Um, yes. They're not here, Ma. I checked there too. Oh. Thank God, Cha. I got through the first stage, and uh, I think we have like two or three more stages to go. What do you want me to make for dinner? Anything is fine. Anything like what? Beans and 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 okra, uh -huh. or shawarma and pounded yam. Is everything okay? What what are you so angry about? I mean, apart from the fact that you make a big deal out of everything, madam, you, you are the one making. I don't make everything a big deal now. Like, you may cook whatever you like. I cannot cook anything I like. I can't even do whatever I want in this house. When it is your turn to cook, I tell you exactly what I want. If I make dinner now, you won't eat anything but what I make. It's just food. That's why I cannot find documents where they kept them. Are we still talking about food? I'm almost missing out on that food life deal, and I worked so hard on it. Spent two whole hours today looking for documents and papers for my meeting because somebody chose to rearrange it. Well, it's called dining table, not filing cabinet. If you knew that, this wouldn't have happened. You should even be grateful that, that you, you have a man that, that cleans up after you. I know a lot of men that won't even lift a finger to do anything in the home. You are here telling... I don't even have time for this. I'm tired. Ah. You should get the carpenter to fix this. Ah.
Um, are you looking for this? Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Thank you for keeping us so organized around here. I mean, you shouldn't have to feel underappreciated for being so, so put together. How long have you been working for my wife? About a month. Oh, okay. Do you, 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 and you like, you like your job? <laughs> you mean? Like, you, you must like not being jobless. Do you? Do you like not being part of the 60 million Nigerians out there without a job? I mean, I'm guessing you feel so lucky to be working with one of the most brilliant women in the world that you would ever meet. I'm sorry. Hi, baby. Come. Come here. Come on. Okay. What's, Come. what's going on? Uh, well, um, myself and your assistant here, mm -hmm. we're having a little discussion on um, underappreciation oh. and joblessness. And she has some things to tell you. Uh, Come on. The floor I, is yours. I, um, Sorry? I, I, I... You stutter? Uh, I have to go. Traffic must be must be building up now. See you on Monday. Uh, bye bye, ma. I could tell me what that was. I'm so sorry about your documents. <sighs> I'm sorry too. I was actually coming to tell you sorry and tell you congrats on your interview. You've been fighting over the silliest things. True. I'm sorry. Yeah. But seriously, what was that? <laughs> um, you need to be more appreciated. Because you are so put together. It's a lie. Oh. You're not kidding. <laughs> hey, what does she know in the house? Well? Under my very before. Mm -hmm. Eh? You need to respect me more in this house because apparently Adegi. some people want to appreciate me. <laughs> I'm serious so. Hmm. But I have <laughs> eyes for only one person. Mrs. Grace Osaruwense <laughs> Rhodes. <laughs> Even though you are the most horrible Horrible driver and a very scattered girl, but I still love your scattered self. <laughs> You're so sweet, sir. You know how it, I'm the sweetest guy now. I still don't understand how someone as organized as you does not know how to put his clothes in the laundry basket. I'll learn. <laughs> but I think every day, or I know that every day, I'm reminded of the big reasons why I love you. Shetan Olua Pamilere Road. <laughs> Even when you have no idea and can never make up your mind on what you want to eat for dinner. I love you still. I appreciate you. <laughs> anyway, speaking of dinner, I was thinking, maybe I should take you out to dinner. Sounds good. But I'm driving though. I have a better idea. How about we start with desserts? And then I can be more appreciative of you. Okay! But I'm driving though. Ew! I'm going to drive you crazy, I promise you. Stop! I want to see what I'm asking for. As children, we are taught that 10 millimeters makes one centimeter, 10 centimeters make one decimeter, and 1,000 meters makes one kilometer. The little things make up the big things.
just need to remember the child of who I am. I am a child of light, so I will walk as light. In the word it is written, so I know who I am. And I will keep my gaze. It's the little things that make up the big problems in marriage. The little things we don't solve on time. The little things we don't provide alternatives to. The little things that we don't forgive, forget, and let go of. Hi, this is Laji Irene. Thank you for watching this episode of Journey Never After. Be sure to come back next week for another episode. But before you go, please subscribe and tell all your friends about this video. Thank you. You were all that I ever wanted. I was all that you ever needed. We were two. Call us off the same bonds. We should vow. To never break our hearts But those days are long gone We made a wrong tone We can't find our way back The butterflies all gone From top to bottom We're slowly burning out And now I'm stuck with you There's no getaway I call Daring Ever After is brought to you by Tal Rice.